Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys something about a for each loop in Java, you know, which is used with the arrays. So we can use this for each loop or, you know, the new version of the for loop with the arrays and we can uh, loop through all the elements of that array without using some variables such as index variables. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. So I'm going to go to new then Java project and let's give a project name let's say for loop and then uh, just click on the finish then uh, just open up your project and let's create a new class and uh, let's create the package learning Java and then uh, we're gonna have the class name as mango and then public static void main click on finish that's it you're gonna have a class all right now I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this for each loop or you know this new version of this for loop so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an array and let's create a string array string and I'm gonna have my friends names so it's gonna be names and it's gonna be an array so we need to use the square brackets and then I'm gonna initialize this array right here so my first friend is gonna be Srisha and then my second friend is gonna be Anjali and my third friend is gonna be let's say Ajay and then it's gonna be you know any name Akshay that's enough for the demonstration purpose all right then we're gonna use the new version of the for loop you know which is also called a for each loop so first we need to write the keyword for and then a pair of parentheses and then the curly braces or you know the body of this loop so here so here in the for loop that I have explained in the previous tutorials you know we were you know using three segments you know we were initializing then we were checking for some condition and we were updating but here this new version of this for loop very simple to use and also you know it is mainly used on the arrays so what this loop is gonna do is it's gonna loop through each element of the array that we're gonna pass for example you know if you pass this names array then this loop is gonna loop through for each element of this array so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to we need to create a variable which is gonna contain one of the element of this array so here our array elements are of type string so I'm gonna create a string variable and let's call it as uh, name so here name and the array name is names and then we need to have a colon and then the array name names that's it now inside this loop i just gonna print out the values that will be present in this name variable so it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and i'm gonna refer the name that's it and this shows us an error and if i go there it says change workspace compliance to JRE 1.5 or you know change the project compliance to GRE 1.5 so we can choose on any option it doesn't matter I'm just gonna double click here and that's it the error disappears all right now what happens here is you know for the first iteration this name variable is gonna contain the first element of this names array or you know it's gonna contain Srisha in this case and in the second iteration it's gonna contain Anjali similarly this loop is gonna loop through all the elements of the array that is passed here so I'm just gonna save it and run it you guys can see we have Srisha, Anjali, Ajay and Akshay so this is about the for each loop or you know the simple for loop which is normally used with arrays you know which allows us to easily loop through the elements of an array you know without referring to the index of that array. So this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and also you guys can follow us on twitter at learning lad edu and the source code of this tutorial will be available in my web blog learningladeducation.blogspot.com and uh, once again thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial